students today i am going to discuss about network technique which is very important topic of project management and operation research here we will discuss program evaluation and review technique that is called critical path method that is cpm project crashing and time cost and social cost benefit analysis let us start from the network technique Network is a technique of operation research for planning a project by constructing schedules that is activities and events. It is used for those projects which are completed through various activities in a sequential manner. It is a graphical representation of activities to be performed and of events that come between these activities. There are two major techniques of network analysis. which are widely used for planning the large and complex projects that is program evaluation and review technique pod and critical path analysis method this is the network diagram and you can see this diagram that any activity or any event which is a start from one point and finishing at the another point so an event is a stage in project progress after the completion of all preceding activities but before the beginning of any succeeding activity the event symbol used to show the connection between activities in a circle so you can see that this is start point and it is burst burst into two way one day one day then again one day is burst in the single one way that is second day and another one day is again burst into two one is second day and one is merged into the finish so on the activities which is burst from the start it is it will going to merge in finish or finishing activities so these type of numericals we will see in the live class this is just an example okay now program evaluation and review technique it is used as an instrument by the project planners to determine the total expected time a project is likely to take for its completion it is also used to analyze and administer a large complex project which is going to be performed in some sequence it is a quantitative technique of network analysis with the help of pod complex business problem can be easily solved and certain objectives can be achieved within scheduled time so the stipulated time is also known as scheduled or contractual time some areas of pert application the pert as a technique of project planning is widely used in various field following are the main areas of pert application number 1 is construction activities so it is used in all types of constructions activities like construction of building installation and construction of industries construction of bridges canals etc where the projects involves sequential activities next transportation activities pert can be used comprehensively in the field of rail road water and air transportation where activities are completed combinedly in the construction and regulation of these activities pert has a key role to play then oil refineries this technique is very commonly used in oil refineries where the work is completed in the form of sequential activities in this industry pert helps to determine the starting and finishing time of an activity then iron and steel industries pert can adequately be used in iron and steel industry with the purpose of saving time and cost in the sequential activities of this industry next one is computer system this technique has been very fruitful for computer industry besides computer industry this technique has proved 
its worthiness in the areas where the device of computer is used next one is shipping industry so it is also used successfully in shipping industry for the construction of ships repairs and maintenance and other work related there with along with shipping industry this technique is also used for solution of water transportation problems where the work is performed on the basis of schedules military activities since the port as a technique of network analysis was developed for the purpose of military activities it successfully used for the preparation and implementation of military strategies and activities or in other areas like medical and surgical sector and uh, manufacturing electric generator machines this is all about the port program evaluation and review technique next is critical path method in this technique a critical path is discovered in a project critical path of a project consists of those activities that are more important than other activities of the project a critical path takes maximum time to complete the activities and events in a critical path are known as critical activities and critical events in this technique the barriers in the execution of activities are estimated and efforts are made to overcome these barriers critical path method uses two time estimates and two cost estimates for each activity so in the modern world it is unique technique of decision making used for project planning so it involves the following three factors first drafting the design of program or project second the program or project draft drafted is evaluated and the third one is the program or project is reviewed after the evaluation so one time and cost estimate is made for the normal situation and the other time and cost estimate is made for crash or critical situation however this technique operates with an assumption of precise known time and it does not make use of a statistical analysis in determining the times estimates so uh, it can be say, said that critical path method emphasizes the relationship between applying more man or other resources okay to reduce the duration of given job in a project and the increased cost of these additional resources so with the help of cpm the amount of time needed to complete different part, parts of the project is assumed to be known with certainty so this is the critical path method next one is project crashing and time cost trade off so project crashing is a method of is a method for shortening the project duration by reducing the time of one or more of the critical project activities to less than its normal activity time crashing may become necessary because of many reasons such as to reduce the scheduled completion time to reap the results of the project sooner as projects continues over time the team consumes indirect cost there may be direct financial penal penalties for not completing a project on time so the term trade off refers to a possible manipulation of resources and their mutual adjustment for one another in case of scarcity of one over the other this is also labeled as resources mobilization of adjustment every project manager confronts with time and cost as the most prominent resources having constraints to be carefully considered and optimally use so in order to trade off between both the resources a project manager has to make a justifiable sacrifice of one resource for the another yeah other so procedure for caching first one choose the cheapest way to save time then evaluate cost increases against possible savings and take cost advantage advantages of delays 
So this is all about the project crashing and time cost trade-off. Next one is social cost benefit analysis. It is a methodology for evaluating project from social point of view. It is also referred as economic analysis and it is developed for evaluating investment project from the point of view of the society. In recent years, particularly in the developing countries where government is playing significant role in economic development, social cost benefit analysis is playing a very important role and it is concerned with tactical decision making within the framework of broad strategic choice defined by planning at the macro level. In order to understand social cost benefit analysis, we must first understand what commercial cost benefit analysis. So, commercial cost benefit analysis is a kind of profitability analysis in which two things are taken into consideration. First one is total cost of the project and second one is expected future benefit from the project. So, it does not deal with the issues like what will be the cost that a society would bear and what are the benefits that the society will get from the proposed project. So, these issues are deal in social cost benefit analysis. In order to understand the real value of the project to the society, it is calculated that what would be the impact of the project on the society. So, this impact is observed in social cost benefit analysis. Impact of the project on society as per social cost benefit analysis that is social benefit which is positive and social cost which is negative. Thus we evaluate a project from the viewpoint of the society as a whole and that is called social cost benefit analysis. So social benefits are like product services provided, payment for raw materials, payment for fixed assets employment opportunities and social costs these costs are like opportunity costs raw material used labor used fixed assets purchased and environmental damage so this is all about the social cost benefit analysis thank you for watching the video